I first grabbed this plastic container from Dollar Tree. Just take that lid off. I am not going to be needing that. And then using some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster, I just gave this container two good coats. You wanna just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then just allow everything to completely dry. Next, I just printed this image off of my computer. So all I did was just tape on some tissue paper onto a piece of copy paper and just printed it through a normal ink printer. Now I'm just cutting it down to size and then you wanna just separate the tissue paper from the copy paper. You then just wanna find a good placement for this on the front of your container grab some Mod Podge. I just put an even but thin amount of Mod Podge. If you end up putting too much Mod Podge, you could run the risk of ripping your tissue paper. So a nice even amount is all you need. Place a tissue paper image right down. I like to use a Ziploc bag or you could use Saran Wrap to go over the image just to smooth out any wrinkles or air bubbles. Allow that to completely dry and then go over it with another layer of Mod Podge to seal and protect it and then allow that to completely dry. Then I wanted to make this look nice and weathered so I just grabbed this little bottle of Waverly Antique Wax and just started brushing this all throughout the container. If you go over a certain spot and it's just a little too dark for your liking, just go over it with a baby wipe. That is what I did and I just kind of brushed some of it off. And I did some spots a little bit darker than the others, but this this part is completely optional. You don't have to do it. I, I like that weathered look, so I really like how it came out. Next, I had this star uh, fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just wrapped it around the top of the container. Just tied it off in a double knot. I think that looks so cute. Then I got these garden stakes from Dollar Tree as well. Now you could keep these the way that they are. I wanted to do something different. So I did end up just using Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, using a cut up Dollar Tree sponge to apply this chalk paint onto the stars. I like doing this so much better. better. I think the coverage is so much better than using an actual paintbrush. There's no brush strokes and this only required one coat and then go ahead and let that dry. Next, I wanted these to look very rusty. So I'm doing the Mod Podge and ground cinnamon method. All you have to do is just apply some Mod Podge onto your surface, sprinkle over some cinnamon, dab that in with your fingers, and then go over it again with some more Mod Podge. Now, when you go over the cinnamon for this part, you wanna make sure you are dabbing the Mod Podge on. You do not wanna brush the Mod Podge on because that could peel off some of the cinnamon. So dabbing is definitely key. And let that dry and look at how cool that is. Now, if you don't wanna do the cinnamon, you could always just paint these red, white, and blue, or like I said, keep them the way that they are. Then I just put in a piece of floral foam into the container, put inside of those stars first, and then I just ripped up some of this homespun fabric that I also got from Hobby Lobby and just wrapped those around the bottom of the stars, just double knotted those as well. Look at how cute. And then I just started adding in some faux flowers. Most of my flowers I just get from Dollar Tree. So mostly I just put in some red and white flowers. And there you go, guys. I think this came out so amazing. I love how weathered, vintage, and rustic this looks. This is going to be a great accent piece for my home. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.